The Artificial Super Intelligence Alliance token, formerly known as Fetch, is currently up almost 10% over the last one day, sitting at $1.37. We believe this is just the beginning of a massive run-up back to that $3 range for this Fetch AI token. There is a lot happening in the AI space. We're going to go over all that today. We're also going to give you an update on the merger. If you're still sitting on Ocean and Singularity Net tokens, what you need to do to make sure you do it correctly, stay safe, and don't lose your money. Also. We are now being featured, or at least ASI is being featured, and Dr. Ben Gertzel and Singularity Dow, in a lot of different non-crypto written magazines and publications, and what this could potentially mean for the ecosystem of the ASI and the three tokens that have merged. Let's talk about why these AI coins are pumping, because it's not just Fetch, but today's video is going to be focused on Fetch. Take a look here from Unusual Whales. Uh, the big one here is, NVIDIA, which is the front runner essentially for AI, is set to reveal another surge in profits on the back of doubling revenues as it benefits from the rapid adoption of generative AI. This is per, per Bloomberg. This uh, uh, earnings report is coming out on Wednesday. So 48 hours from now, we should continue to see some volatility. We should continue to see price action continue to go up leading into Wednesday. And then once that earnings report drops, People will continue to speculate. Now, if it's bad, we could see a little bit of a sell-off. But our bet is that the quarterly profit report is going to be very, very good, and it's going to push the price of these AI tokens up higher, including Fetch and AS slash ASI. Then we have this from uh, Cointelegraph. AI crypto tokens are on fire as the industry readies for NVIDIA's quarter two report. It what analysts, analysts have called the most important tech earnings in years. It's not just ASI that is up. But BitTensor is up. Render Network is up. And some of these other tokens are up as well. And then this just dropped uh, another big one here when it comes to AI. Apple is expected to launch their new iPhone on September 9th. They are holding an event. The Apple iPhone 16 is supposed to have fully integrated with ChatGPT. Essentially, the AI agents are going to replace Siri and this is exactly what Fetch AI is doing. I'm not saying there's a correlation here that they're working together, but still, it drives speculation and it brings people into the space. Now, I mentioned the token merger. If you don't know how to migrate your tokens, we did do a video on that. I'll put that link. I'll pin it to the comment section and I'll put it in the description. But where are we with the token merger? So phase one is not completed, but it's underway. It's been underway since July 1st. This is where you can take your Singularity Net and your Ocean Protocol on Ethereum only, not on the other chains, not on Cardano, only on Ethereum, and you can bridge them over to the Fetch token, which eventually in phase two, those Fetch tokens will become the ASI token. Again, only on Ethereum. Do not do this if you have Cardano or anything else that these assets are on. Now, the second one, which is the final phase, is phase two. And according to the website, superintelligence.co, or excuse me, .io, so this is, again, where we're going to see the Fetch token go to ASI. On top of that, we are going to see the EVMs and bridges open up. So if you have Singularity Net on Cardano, you will then, at this point, once this is live, it's not live yet, you will be able to migrate those tokens over to the ASI token. Same uh, conversion rate, you have the fetch will be one-to-one -to, -one to the ASI. Singularity Nest token will be uh, one Singularity token to 0.433 ASI token. And Ocean, pretty much the same, a uh, little bit less, just a minute less. Now, when you're on this website, if you still haven't uh, bridged over your Ethereum native Ajax or Ocean Protocol tokens, you're going to want to go to this website, superintelligence.io. No other website. I will drop this link in the description. You click on take part in the token merger. Once you click that on the top right, it'll take you to this website. This is the only website that you should connect a wallet to. The only website you should connect a wallet to. SingularityDAO.ai. Okay? I will drop this link again in the description of this video. Why am I continuing to repeat myself? because we refuse to let any one of our community members, anyone watching this video, to make a mistake and lose all of their tokens. As you can see here, the current networks that are only supported right now are gonna be the Ethereum network. So all you do here is let's say you have Ajax or let's go with Ocean Protocol and Ethereum. Select Ethereum, 
Ocean Protocol. On the bottom here, you'll see Fetch. You go up here and you connect your wallet using this green button up here. It'll load your balance. Once you load your balance, it'll show you, hey, I have 1,000 Ocean tokens. I'm going to get 433 Fetch tokens, which is the ASI. Connect the wallet, and then it'll allow you to do the transaction there. Again, only on Ethereum. We'll keep you updated on when Phase 2 is live, when you can take your Fetch tokens and get the new ASI token and also open up to other bridges. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss that video when it drops. Now, I mentioned there's a lot of things happening in AI. We are being featured. And when I say we, I mean our crypto native AI projects are being featured in magazines and publications outside of crypto. One of them is LiveScience.com. This is an article here that dropped uh, about 14 days ago. New supercomputing network could lead to AGI, scientists hope, with the first node coming online within weeks. AGI, by contrast, is a hypothetical future system that surpasses human intelligence across multiple dis uh, disciplines. The supercomputers built by SingularityNet will form a multi-level cognitive computing network that will be used to host and train the architectures required for AGI, uh, a company representative said in a statement. A couple of things I've highlighted here from this article. This is from Dr. Ben Gertzel. Quote, this supercomputer in itself will bring a breakthrough in the transition to AGI. While the novel neural symbolic AI approaches developed by Singularity Net uh, AI team decrease the need for data, processing and energy somewhat relative to standard deep neural nets, we still need significant supercomputing facilities. Singularity Net's goal is to provide access to data for the growth of AI, AGI, and a future artificial super intelligence. To grant users with access to the supercomputer, Dr. Gertzel and his team are using a tokenized system that is common in artificial intelligence. Users gain access to the supercomputer, and through their tokens, they can use and add data to the existing sets other users rely on to test and deploy AGI concepts. So, looks like between NVIDIA a couple other companies, and essentially the crypto space, right? You have Render, BitTensor, and of course, artificial superintelligence. We are leading the way in AI moving forward. So exciting times to be here. And then we have this as well. Fetch AI launches Innovation Lab with $10 million fund for startups. The new hub uh, dubbed Innovation Lab will onboard early stage startups working on AI agent solutions, software that uses AI to perform specific tasks, or make decisions for users or other systems. Funding will be milestone-based with a $1 million cap per project. The autonomous AI agents market is expected to reach $88.1 billion by 2032. I believe this number is grossly undervalued. You have people like Elon Musk coming out and saying, we're going to have AI robots in our homes. There are going to be more AI robots in our homes than people over the next 20 to 40 years. Years, AI is a sector that is not going away. It is going to continue to grow. And if you're in the crypto space, you have the maximum amount of exposure to the upside than any other company. How much exposure realistically can you get? Or how much upside potential can you get from NVIDIA? It's already at $3 trillion. You're looking at ASI and Fetch, and I'm taking a look at their market cap. It's $3.5 billion. $3.5 billion for, according to the this article here, and exactly what Fetch does, which is AI agents, their market cap is expected to reach, let's call it $100 billion. And you got the leading project in the space that is only valued at $3.5 billion. Now, I'm not saying 100% of that value is going to come to Fetch, but we got to believe it's going to be more than 3.5% on top of everything else they're doing with the merger. Now, let's take a look at the Fetch, uh, the Fetch AI token. We finally broke, uh, we broke through this downtrend, this channel we've had for a very long time. And this all really started after we saw a massive rally uh, from around $1.72 to a high of over $3.30. Uh, we started to see a uh, downfall, right? So March 28th is when we started to see lower lows and lower highs forming this big channel to the downside, right? This falling wedge. Well, guess what we just did? We just broke above it in a matter of three days. Now, we should, put, we might potentially see a little bit of consolidation as you see the first red candle in over five days 
uh, unless this thing rallies and closes in the green. But if this stays the same, this candle will close red. And it will be a spinning top, which label which says there's indecision in the market. But the measured move for the complete breakout of this pattern, we take the middle width of this uh, of this falling wedge, and we take that and we plant it above our breakout point, which gives us a target of around a dollar ninety. But we believe that as the speculation continues for AI, for Fetch, for ASI, any new announcements, the token merger going live, the second phase going live. We can see this thing running up, running back up to three dollars, over three dollars. I mean, take a look at what this price has done, going from eighty-two cents just a week ago. It has rallied seventy percent. How much more rally do we need to get back up to three dollars? One hundred and thirty percent. So two more of these moves right here, and I'll draw a circle for you so you can see two more of these moves. And we're at $3 and 20 cents. And we see how rapidly not only the cryptocurrency market moves, but the AI market moves. Wednesday is going to be a big day. We might just do another update video on Wednesday. If this thing continues to rally, so make sure you subscribe to the channel. Also come check out our live show Monday through Friday at 2 PM Eastern standard time. We'll see you in the next one.